Hi, it's Asma here, and I'm back with the Tottenham Football Line Show. As you can see, we're away against Reading in the Premier League today. Um, and as you can see, Denver Bar and Asu Gotham have both returned from Africa Cup of Nations duty. Um, and also, Dembele has returned from injury. And I actually forgot I had Dembele, otherwise, I probably wouldn't have gone out and signed Isco, if I'm honest. But, you know, Isco is a good player, and. I, I, to be honest, I should have remembered I had Dembele, but he was just out injured, and I forgot he was there, to be honest. Um, so yeah, now we're very strong in central midfield, but he's not really fit enough to even get on the bench this today. Um, but yes, yeah, so we're pretty much back to what we had as our starting 11 first half of the season, apart from Hummels has come in. Um, but apart from that, it's pretty much the same. Um, well, it is the same. Uh, Baines is out with a slight injury, he's out for another few days. Um, but anyway, let's get straight into it. We're playing Reading, by the way, away. Pretty sure I already mentioned that. Um, so here we go. Jacko and Jovetic both on the bench. Um, and as you can see, the Reading team, Federici, Zuba, Pierce, Gorks, Taylor. That's Neil Taylor, of one. Um, Swansea player, Karachan, Ledger, Wood, uh, McEnough, uh, Hal, Robson, Carno, Pavel, Pogrebniak, and Noel Hunt up front for them. Um, but we're second in the league in, um, again, three games in hand over Arsenal. Um, so hopefully this is, um, first start. Hopefully this is one of those matches that we can, um, continue our form and it's been nothing special over January but I'm hoping these players can now merge together and this is Basically, the reason I want them bought big is because these players are going to be playing for me for the next few years um, while I'm at Tottenham. Um, I don't think I'll be, you know, selling people like uh, maybe Ruiz at some point. Um, but people like Demabar and Adebayor have just been so good this season, such good form. You know, if they continue into other seasons, I couldn't sell them. And then obviously, players like Hummels are always going to be in the team um, when they're young and that good. Um, Bale as well. He's not a new signing, but he's he's someone I'm very much who's always going to be in the team. This team, it's not an old team; it's a very young team. Um, so yeah, you could say I, I've spent a lot of money and I'm going to be in debt. But to be honest, um, I'm not going to be needing to buy other people in the future, um, and I shouldn't be in too much debt either. Right, come on. We need to win these games though to bring in more money, win the league. Hummels. And that's another thing, we brought in Hummels for 15 million. You might remember we sold, oh my god, Pogrebniak. Took the goal of the season for him. We sold Kabul for 15 million, so we just replaced a better player for the same amount of money. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm not quite sure. I'm pretty happy with what I've done in the transfer window. I know, just strengthened the squad and made us probably the best squad in the league, but, um, oh well. Um, the, there are arguments both sides, it could backfire and it could just be that, you know, we should have just kept hold of our worst players and tried to keep the same team and, you know, just, um, gone on with it. Um, but then you think again, I, I brought in Lorenti for next season, but I sold Damiel, who he's going to be replacing, for 28.5 million. I don't see how that's putting me in debt to be honest, but um, obviously on some of them, um, yes I have been spending a lot of money, but I think it all, you know, it comes about, oh come on level, oh come on you twats. We can't seem to play the small teams. That's what I found. Um, well, we won 3-0 against Southampton. Oh my god. Rid of it, Fellaini. Not like that. Just knock it out. Oh, oh well. I'm sure it should all come together after half time once I've bought them. Or can they score now? No. Oh, no. Federici holds on to it. I think Federici's crap in real life. I really do. I think Carthy's far much. He's a lot better, I think. I can keep it calm. Show me something else in the second half. Hopefully that's enough. There shouldn't be any, you know, getting to know each other problems or 
play, was trying to play well together. Hummels is the only new player in this starting eleven. Um, I guess the squad could be shaken up with all the new signings. That's another thing that could go against us, you know. The squad could be shaken up. It could just overall halt even the players who have been playing amazingly, like Alaba. It hasn't seemed to like dip his performances at all, but um, it could do, you know. Oh, Hummels should be doing a lot better there. Sandra manages to get her away. This is really not good. I don't know what to do. I really don't. It gets to the points like these in Football Manager. I'm like, oh, there's nothing else I can really do. The team should just be winning, really. I should. I can't really go on the overload, can I? Not at this point, anyway. Then the bar. Oh my god, that bail. That is poor. Just straight on. Not good enough. Sandra is getting a bit frustrated that maybe because he's not playing enough um, and he, he's trying to, you know, just prove himself as much as he can. It may not be, you know, he may just be getting frustrated and there he's one us free kick, Ledger would um, getting the yellow card for the foul. For, uh, Fellini, Sandro, Adabel can't quite get there and there we go again. Can't, just can't quite get there and got it back again. Sandra shooting. I'm going to bring Sandra off. I think he's doing crap. To be honest, I, I can't. Oh. No, I'll leave him on for now, actually. I thought I had Imlo on the bench, but of course he's injured for a few weeks. Um. God, this is really, this is really starting to annoy me. Why can't we just put these teams away? Put it in. Oh, they just sit back so much. It's so annoying. Um. And, you know, their goal was good, but it never should have happened because we shouldn't have allowed it to. And we've only got ourselves to blame if we do lose this. And, you know, it's games like these that we, you know, we really need to win if we're going to be winning the league. But then again, teams who win the league always have a lot of games where they're losing, but they manage to bring it back. Um, I'm actually going to bring on... No, I'll bring on Jovetic because... He's shown that he can come off the bench and do well. Valencia as well has been really improve, um, improving himself. Fellini's actually been better than Sandro, so I'm going to bring off Sandro and stick this go there. Hopefully that's enough. Here we go. Right. Finish him off. Federici kicks the ball downfield. Fellini, oh, Jovetic, to play it through, out of my heart. oh my god, how has he missed that, it's, we're not going to win, I can tell you that right now, I just, it's one of those days where it's just like, it's not going to happen, I don't put those chances away at this time as well, I'm going to actually go overload now, I don't put those chances away, it's just obvious, you know, you've got no chance really, if they, oh, out of all. I couldn't quite get there, quick enough, Fellaini, got to win that, oh, corner at least, bail, oh my god, attack the ball, don't run away from it, Asukoto, starting to frustrate me, we need to get at least a point from this, away from home with him, not so good, you know, a bit dodgy, um, I can't wait till the next season really, because our team will be a lot more gelled together, um, we're not going to make many signings, obviously the signing of Lorente, and that might m might be the only one I decide to make, I'm not sure yet, but um, I might just not make any more. Not by all. Because to be honest, I really like this team. Unless there's a player like um, Hamshik, who I can bring in, and uh, they're going to score again. No, Lloris doing really well. Unless a player like Hamshik, or I doubt Modric will be on the top of the market. Farkar, any, uh, like a really world class player. Um, that's the only players I'm going to be buying next season, I think. Uh, oh, Jovetic just nicked us a point. Thank God. Can we get the win now? Because there's still eight minutes of normal time remaining. I'm going to stay on overload. I know I always say I'm not going to do it, but... Um, oh, that's terrible for Federici. And there you go. Jovetic nicking the goal. That's, he's playing his role there. I told him to be a poacher, and he's gone and poached the goal. So, that's something... To be honest, I think any, anyone would have scored that. Um, it's probably the easiest chance. The easiest, oh, I don't, I don't. Easiest chance um, that could have happened. 
now we needed the goal and we got the three points, but it's just getting that goal. It took us 82 minutes to get us one. Can we do it in the next just two? Break from this. They're playing for the draw. You can't blame them for that. They've changed their formation though, so they're going to be a bit. Oh, come on, ref. This is too long. Uh, they really do give them a lot of time. Oh my god, that is shit. And now they're going to waste the, the next glitch. Of they just wasted 30 seconds there. Fuck's sake. Should have been winning that, but I'm going to stay calm with them. But that was a disgrace from the referee. Absolute disgrace. Cannot believe that. They wasted about two minutes of time there. Whereas in real life, you probably get maybe 20 seconds to do something. At the most, and then you get booked after 20. They wasted at least two minutes later on there. Anyway, that's going to be an end of this episode. Thank you for watching. Please leave a like if you did enjoy, and if you did not enjoy the video, or if you just think there's something I could have done better, please tell me what it was. And then, I, that just helps me for later videos to improve the content I give out. Um, also, subscribe if you are new and if you like the videos. But most of all, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.